What is going on guys? Welcome back or to the channel. Unless you've been living under a rock, you would know that Articat has released their new chassis for the 2024 lineup being the Catalyst chassis. Man, let me tell you, I have been on Facebook reading comments about the Catalyst non-stop ever since they released it because this is pretty much the biggest news in the snowmobile industry right now. But man, you would think cat riders would be happy to have something new. But no, 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 they are not. If you look at the comments on Facebook, I haven't even been on forums yet, just strictly Facebook. They're brutal. You guys are ripping this new chassis apart, ripping Cat apart. It's unbelievable. Cat finally gives you guys something new, up to date, something that could compete with players and Skidoo, and you guys are absolutely ripping on it. So first and foremost, I want to get out of the way why I think Cat's Catalyst platform was a fail for 2024. Now I'm not talking the whole sled as a whole, because I think like we said last video, I think the sled is fantastic. They did a phenomenal job on the redesign, and I think it's going to turn a lot of heads and get a lot of attention and possibly bring some people over to CAT. Where I think they made the biggest mistake with this platform here is they are only offering it in a 600 for the first run of 2024 with this chassis. Now that's gonna hurt them in multiple ways because they are offering a 154 mountain sled with a 600. Picture that, like I don't ride out west, but for the guys that ride out west and know how huge it is to have bigger displacement and more power, think about trying to ride a 154 600 out west. You already lose horsepower because of the elevation compared to low elevation where I live. And trying to get that sled around into steep and deep with a 600, it's going to be difficult and there's not going to be a lot of people willing to buy that sled. Now for the ZR chassis 600, which is their trail sled, I believe the 600 is going to be okay because if you truly ride the 600 to its fullest potential, you're probably going to be able to outride people on Patriot boosts, 850s, 800s, 650s, the whole nine yards. It all comes down to how hard you ride the sled and how much you really push that 600 because in the tight and twisty trails, 600 is plenty. If you're looking to just drag people up and down the lake all weekend, with the 600, probably not going to happen. You're going to get outran by the big dogs. The iffy area with the 600 is going to be the Riot. The Riot is their crossover sled. And yes, if you use the Riot for mainly trails, that 600 is probably going to do you just fine. But if you start adventuring more off trail, doing a little boondocking, backcountry action with your Riot, the 600, it'll probably do okay if you're in the Midwest. But if you're trying to do that out west at that 146, you're going to be struggling. My personal opinion is I think they knocked it out of the park on the redesign. I think they did everything right with that. I think they built a bunch of hype behind it. Did a great job with actually releasing the platform and just an overall great job with the platform in general. But I think they missed their mark on having only a 600 available for the sled. Before we get into this, I don't know what to say to you cat guys. Besides, they can't give you shit. They gave you a brand new chassis, something that looks amazing, something that's gonna be able to compete with the newer, more modern sleds coming off of a 12-year-old chassis. You guys are tearing it up. Like, you guys can't have shit. You guys would be happy. You guys, I guarantee you, you guys would be more happy if they released like an F-Series, like an 05, 06, F7, F-Series Articat, just like no changes whatsoever, just literally took an 05 sled and just completely re-released it, nothing new. You guys would probably be more happy about that than you are about this Catalyst. It's unbelievable. Like usually like when a manufacturer releases a new sled, like Players of Skidoo, a lot of people are super excited about it, super hype, not a lot of negativity. Now don't get me wrong, there's a lot of naysayers, a lot of people that like to rip on new things. Either they don't like change or they can't afford it or they just overall don't like it in general. You're gonna have those people with every brand, whether it be Skidoo, Polaris, Yamaha, Articat, but man, I have never seen so much slander towards a new chassis than from you Articat guys. It's unbelievable. Now that I'm done ranting, let's get into what you guys have to say on Facebook about the Catalyst. I got everything screenshotted here and we are gonna pull up this meme first. This was like one of the funniest things. Y'all are crazy for this one. So what it will look like playing in the deep powder, you got the Catalyst inside and then you got the Skidoo Turbo and the Patriot slash Boost outside. <laughs> that one's pretty funny. I found this one on Facebook and uh, you guys are reckless for that. What happened to the rest of the seat, LOL. You know what, like I literally, like one of my favorite things about the cat redesign was getting rid of that foam block they call the seat. And now people are complaining. You like, you guys can't have shit. I don't know what there is to complain about. It looks better. I'm sure it's just as comfortable, if not more comfortable, and probably more ergonomic than your foam pad that you guys were sitting on before. Next up, a guy was at Heydays, obviously, and took this picture, and he said, up close, it looked awful. Parts looked rushed, spray paint, and stickers not properly replaced. So I'm gonna pick this one apart. First of all, I was at Heydays, I saw the sled, and I have to strongly disagree with you. I think it looked phenomenal. So he said it looks awful. Parts looked rushed. I, I didn't really, I guess, take a close, close look at the parts, 
but maybe to you they look rushed, to me they look fine. Spray painted, there was nothing on that sled that looks spray painted. I, I don't know where you're seeing that from. And stickers not properly placed. This is the first time this sled's ever been released to the public, the first time anyone that has laid eyes on it besides people at Articat. How can you tell me that these stickers are not properly placed? If they're not properly placed, where are they supposed to be? Please let me know. Another one about the seat. Here we are, seat looks uncomfortable. Jesus Christ, guys. It looks like a 10 to 15 year old Polaris. Now a 10 to 15 year old Polaris, let's see, it's 2023s are coming out. 10 years ago would have been the Pro Ride chassis. Yep, don't see it. Copying Skidoo's technology I've seen, it took 20 years. Oh, how do we, yep, I, I'm gonna have to partially agree with this. I don't 100% agree with him, but I do have to partially agree. If you look at the side profile of the sled, looks a lot like a Skidoo by the body panels and the body lines. Seat looks like a Skidoo, and the rear bumper and tunnel looks like a Skidoo. So I get it a little bit, but not 100%. Let's build a badass sled and put an underpowered 600 in it. Next year, we should try to put a 440 in it. Lame as frick. Yep, there it is right there. We just talked about this. A lot of cat guys are gonna be extremely unhappy with the 600. And if you know anything about Articat riders, most of them wanna be the fastest on the snow and have the biggest displacement motor possible. So obviously putting a 600 in a brand new platform sled was gonna be a major issue to a lot of cat guys. This guy is probably one of the most sensible comments I've seen about the Catalyst yet far, and I actually agree with him. Hard to make things look completely different when everyone wants the same thing. Light, narrow, nimble, wheelie easy, no stays down climbing, on and on. Looks good, Articat. I am faithful and will definitely consider one once you guys get to review details and put your hands on. Well done. See, I totally understand, totally 100% agree with this guy. When everyone wants the same thing out of a sled, it is hard for each manufacturer to make their stuff look different and be unique. It's just, it's really hard. It looks like a bigger blast or venom platform. Eh, I don't really see that. I mean, there's like hints of the blast and the venom in there, but I'm not 100% seeing this one, but I'm sorry. Make your customers wait 11 years for a 600 is embarrassing. There it is again, guys. Looks like a player's IQ 10 years ago. Mmm, no, no, just no. I think he's talking here about the IQR, which would be the race chassis, and that was more of like a rounded body. This is, no, nothing like it. So I don't know where you got this from. After 12 years, you couldn't come up with a better graphics, look like a sticker sheet from Walmart. I'm very confused on this one because there are like four graphics on the entire sled. You have the cat logo, it says Catalyst, it says what model you got, whether it be the ZR, Riot, or the M series, and your engine size. So there are like four decals on there, so I don't understand the whole sticker sheet Walmart situation here. It's mainly just colors with a few subtle stickers here and there. Looks like a kid's sled. I, once again, guys, I don't know where you're, I think people are just talking to talk at this point because people love to hate new things and I don't see it. Like, it looks like a kid's sled. It looks like a modern day sled that literally everyone else is riding besides you cat riders. Wow, that is a skidoo if I've ever seen one. Yep, here we go again. I've seen a lot of these. If all that green was orange, they would have my attention. So another big thing on you cat guys I noticed is you guys don't like your colors change. You guys like orange, green, and purple, and I think that is about it. So this guy's obviously complaining about the color schemes, even though these are pre-production models. If they were looking to achieve getting out of the snowmobile market, they hit it spot on with this crossbreed of the Spar chassis, whatever the Spar chassis is. Looks like a 2008 ZR and a 2022 Mach-Z had a kid, no taste at all. They don't even look like snowmobiles anymore. Bring back the old look, I like it better. I'm sorry, dude, that you are stuck in the early 2000s. That's very unfortunate. But what is fortunate for you is there are plenty of early 2000s sleds on Facebook Marketplace. So if that's how you feel, feel free to pick one of them up because I'm sure those guys that are selling them would be willing to use that money towards a catalyst. We need a 650, a 750, and a 850. Jesus Christ, dude. We just finally got a new cat platform after 12 years. And now we want a 650, a 750, and an 850. There's not even anyone out there doing a 750 right now. So I don't, I don't know if he's just like making a joke or whatever, but... Yeah. At least they did redesign it based on a cross between a Skidoo and a Polaris. Once again, another one of those comments. And the last one I got for you guys today, did it already hit a tree or is the front end designed like this on purpose? Jesus Christ, you guys can't have anything new. Like you guys literally do not like change because that front end needed to be changed, needed to be narrower, shorter, the whole nine yards, everything they did needed to happen. And apparently to this guy, they didn't need to change it. Those are just some of the best comments I found hating on the catalyst on Facebook. There are plenty more out there. If you go on any Articat page and click on the comments on a post about the catalyst, 
you will see for yourself what these guys are really thinking right now about the chassis. I'm going to wrap it up right here. With all that being said, if you guys like today's video, smash a huge thumbs up on today's video. In the comment section below, let me know what you guys are thinking on the Catalyst. Did you not like it when it came out? Is it growing on you? Do you still not like it? Do you love it? Whatever it may be, let me know in the comment section below. Like I always say, if you guys are new here or you've been watching for a while and you're not ready to subscribe, which I don't know why you wouldn't be, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.